That one is clear. Okay? By now, we have an idea of how to interpret contingency table. We know which this one here is the total number of people who drink tea. We know which this is the total number of people who drink coffee. Okay? And then we know which if I go from here to here, this is going to be the total number of people who drink what juice. Let's say I ask you, Uchi, what, what, what was the weather here? What would you say to them? Let's say they ask us, Uchi, we had to predict with what kind of weather were these people experiencing? What would you say? Cold. It was, it could have been cold, no? because we see, Uchi, they were taking more of the coffee and the what, and the, and the tea. And then they say, okay, but now write down what is going to be P. What is P? Let's go and check which one is P. P is the total number of people, okay? How do you get the total number of people? You will say this one plus this one plus this one. And then what you get is the total. Uh, at least we get one mark for this one. It's 200. One mark. Calculate the probability that random selected person is a female. Let's go and check. Females. Total number of females. How many females do we have? So we have 120 females divided by what? By 200. Okay, type this on your calculator. What do you get for this one? You get 0, 0,60. Are you sure? Okay, we get 0, 0,60 like this. Now it gets tricky then. <clears throat> they say if choosing a fruit juice is independent, you are not proving yet. They are telling you choosing a fruit juice and they say choosing a fruit juice is independent of being a male. Calculate that. I guess we can either prove good things are independent or we can be told good they're independent. So what are we told here is if choosing a fruit juice is independent of being a male, calculate the value of that. So one, which the events are what are, are independent. So what do we know about independent events? We can then tell them safely so to say the probability, let me use a different card. The probability of fruit juice, so I'll call it, and being a male. This is supposed to be given by the probability of fruit juice Arish, multiplied by the probability of being what? A male. This is true. I'm not proving it. I'm not going to say left-hand side and the right-hand side because I'm told with the two events are independent of each other. So let's go and get fruit juice and the male. Fruit juice and the male. So we go to males and then we go to fruit juice. Okay? Where do these two, two things intersect? They intersect where it's at. So what is the probability there? It's that all over what? All over 200. Multiply by. Oh, it's equal to probability of fruit juice. How many fruit juice do we have? We have 30. Okay? It's going to be 30 all over what? All over 200. Multiply by total number of bits. It's 80 all over what? All over 200. And then you can catch your Z. Okay? How to get your Z? You say Z is going to be equal to 200 multiplied by 80 all over 200 multiplied by 80 all over 1, all over 200. And then you get what? 12. And then you can come and update me. So once you're able to get the value of Z, guys, you should be able to get the rest. It's going to be simple. So here you got 12. Okay? Then you can say, okay, but now this one plus this one plus this one plus this one, they're supposed to give us what? 8. Does it make sense? And then this is the activity that you are supposed to come and do. Do this one, number two. And then you do number two and number three as your activity.